Hello, hello. <laughs> so energetic. Oh my god. I try to be. I try to get my energy like wee. I'm so not there. Hi. This is episode 68 of The Rios Games Knitting and Crochet Podcast. I'm Lisa. Hey. I'm Chris. I yeah, I'm not up there where she is right now. I've had a cup of coffee and three cups of tea today. Lisa. Yeah, it's been a caffeine day for me. Oh my God. So I'm I'm well. I'm always talking to her about her excessive caffeine consumption and clearly it has fallen on deaf ears. Today, yeah. I, I had a <laughs> I had a caffeine day today. I was just thinking about oh I could use another cup of tea. No, you couldn't possibly. Okay, you could just, you know, stick your finger in there and power your laptop right now. <laughs> so the last thing you need right now is more caffeine. So that's what's going on with us. <laughs> We're filming late this week because we had our niece here all week. And she wore us out. Her school is the worst. They give the children homework over all the vacations, even summer. And so when she comes here, she's got like a rucksack full of homework to do. That is very stressful. Yes. And we know she's actually better about it than we are because we cuss them teachers out. We're like, how dare you? How dare you? Algebra, y'all. Y'all know how long it's been since I've seen a function? Well, let me tell you what happened. I saw the function and my brain went, click, I'm done. (laughs) I handed Crystal the book and I was like, Auntie Crystal will help you with this. <laughs> oh, Lordy. It was it was interesting. Mm. Some of it came back. It all came back to her, okay? Some don't, of it. don't let her <laughs> fool you. If it, was, if it was me, that wouldn't have worked out. Hopefully, she, she has a math test tomorrow. Hopefully, she will do okay. Yeah. We got your, our fingers crossed for you, boo. But she's like so like I explained something to her and she like wrote down notes from what I said and put it in her book. I was like, yeah. <laughs> That's how you do that, boo, because don't write down a thing Auntie Lisa says about math. <laughs> None of it. <sighs> but yeah, we survived. It was a long <laughs> week though. So you I got knitting. almost no crocheting done this week. <laughs> oh, I got I got some knitting. But see, this is why I need to have two projects. This is exactly why I need to have two projects. Because I did get some knitting done this week. But only on my projects where I was knitting round and round and round. Yeah, because my skirt is very county because I'm shaping. Yeah. So. Because I had that, I did get some knitting done this week. But it doesn't look like anything right now. It's just, it's just a big old swath of fabric. Let me skirt. This is this is this is half of the skirt, and I'm using oh, Andorra gosh. from Kelvin. It's been all crushed up in my bag, so I it's like all the texture <laughs> guys, wrinkly. Um, it's a, I believe it's a sport weight, and it's Peruvian Highland wool. I think merino and mohair. Yeah, um, it's a nice mix. So, yeah, it feels nice. I think it'll be you know fairly warm. I'm just using all half double crochet. And I'm getting close to my hip shaping now. So we'll see how it goes. I... So what plan did you come up for to create that hip shaping? So I'm working from the bottom up now because mm-hmm. I I should have probably, if I wanted to work from the top down, I needed to do um, foundation single crochet because that's going to have more stretch in it because I did a, a starting chain. That first chain is always really tight, so I didn't want it up here where it needed to stretch. Right. So I decided to start over and work from the bottom up, so that tight chain is just at the hem where it doesn't matter. Um, and I just I just did the math, and so I just you know have the number, the inches for the hem, the inches for the hip, and the inches for the waist, and I'm just I'm gonna go. I'm shaping it very slowly from the hem to the hip, mm-hmm. and then it'll go faster from the hip to waist. That makes sense. And so it won't be an actual A. It'll be kind of this and then this. But um, I decided, realized perhaps is the better word, that I have to let go of this idea of not doing any sewing in my crochet if I really want to make like all the garments that I want to make. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and put an elastic waistband in it. I think that's just going to make my life easiest. I agree. And that's what I'm going to do. And hopefully if I do that enough times, I'll, I'll get good at it. Because when I was sewing, I was terrible at elastic waistbands. <laughs> <laughs> <Just> terrible. <laughs> what part was getting your goat? All of it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. I have to go out to Joanne or someplace and get some elastic. I don't know if I want to do a two-inch waistband or a one-inch waistband. So I'll buy elastic in both sizes and see how I feel. Yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm just going to start keeping elastic on hand. It makes sense. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so, I don't know. There, there's not a whole lot to report on that front. I've been doing, I've just been busy this yeah. week, <laughs> since last weekend. So, yeah, we were having auntie time. So, we were running around, we were doing projects, we were doing more work. It was a lot of fun. We did everything from thrifting to seeing alpaca. Yeah. It was just, yeah, it was all over the place. <laughs> But I think she had a great time. Yeah, I think so too. And she said she told her mom that she had like the best food she'd ever had in her life <laughs> last week. I was like, what did we serve her? Oh my I God. Know, right? I think she really liked your soup. Yeah, she liked the soup. But, and then, you know, we went to Alex's. I don't know if you know Mom Pa's Tex Mex Barbecue, which is in uh, Mount Laurel yeah. on Creek Road. She loves their food. So we, ha we ate there twice, I think. Yeah. And she loved it. You know what? Have the brisket burrito bowl and any of the tacos. Have you like. anything on yeah. that decon menu. Yeah. <laughs> it's all. I just told you my favorites, but yeah. <laughs> and he's always doing specials. Look out! Look out for the specials. They are actually special. Yeah. <laughs> it's not just like the leftovers, like other restaurants mm -hmm. have. No, he crafts these very carefully. So yeah, so she did have. Oh, and the milkshake. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, also on Creek Road, there's an ice cream shop. They make their own ice cream. It's and the Woods Ice Cream Shop. Yeah. yeah, and she had a milkshake. She loved that too. I had a donut from Four Green Cats, and oh, Rachel so had good. a collage too. She had a great I, eating week. She did. <laughs> <laughs> now that we think about it, like yeah. <laughs> so that that was our week. So I didn't get a whole lot of stitching done, but I did some yarny things, and we will talk about them. Yes, indeed. Did, did you want to talk about your, your whips right now? Or? Uh, sure. I can talk about at least this one. I'm going to tell you guys the truth. This got zero work done on it because there would have been, I was too distracted and I might have had to count once or twice and I know I would have got my count wrong. So this got zero work. What actually did get some work. Yeah, you're kind of zipping along with that thing. Was my sweater. I'm very happy with how this is going. This is such a relaxing. If you ever want a real relaxed knit, the Weekender, it's the one. It's moving along pretty quickly. It's done on uh, worsted weight yarn with US, I don't know, nine needles, so 5.5 millimeters. It moves along very quickly. And it's going to go a little bit quicker because right now, as you can see, I am counting my rows because I decided I'm going to get to row around row 60 and then I'm going to start to taper down to the next smaller size. Mm -hmm. So I'm counting every, I put a marker every 10 rows and I'm at 10, 20, 30, 40. I'm almost at row 50 now. And then I'm going to start working my way down. So what is this marker for? Oh, uh, this is where the uh, uh -huh. the center detail is. So all I need really is a beginning of round marker, which is somewhere here. Is that the orange one? No, it looks like a butterfly with big eyes. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Rachel thought this thing was horrifying. Like, <laughs> she was like, like it has finger. it has tentacles. I was like, no, it's a butterfly. <laughs> So I have a beginning of round marker and I have one marker placed on the front detail and one marker placed on the back detail. And that's really all the markers you really need to keep you, you know, keep you in check so that your line doesn't go like this. But yeah, so I'm almost at the point where I'm going to start to taper down to the next size smaller. And I'm only doing that because I want a, a better fit in the shoulder and I want it a little bit wider in the hips. And that, that's it. 
my split hem is done. I've even woven in the ends that I have so far. Oh, wow. Already. So, yeah. I'm weaving in as I go. I, I haven't made this like two years ago. I still ain't weaving all the ends. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't snipped them yet because I want to snip them after I wash it for the first time. Mm -hmm. but... <laughs> You're doing good. Yeah, I always talk about weaving in ends as I go. And then I never do. I, I did it. I, yeah, I know. I usually just talk about it too. Yeah. It always seems like a great idea. <laughs> But I, hey, I want to be one of those stitchers, but I'm not. I really did it I'm this a whole time. Entire fraud. That's why my ends are so short because this is a part so I'm going to cut off. But that's all there is to it. This this what is a oh sorry. This is a really super easy knit, and I'm really enjoying. I'm looking forward to wearing this thing. Ta-da! So those are our wigs. Now, if you all remember. I said I wasn't going to buy any yarn online this year. I would only buy yarn. Why is that funny? Oh, my God. Um, I would only buy yarn when I go to yarn stores. And part of the objective was to, like, limit the amount of yarn I buy. However, I went to four yarn stores this month. So that is not working out. So I haven't bought anything online. But I have been going to all the places and buying all the yarn. Not all the yarn. Actually, I've been pretty good, but it's just I got to a lot of yarn stores. I don't even know how that happened. It started with Super Bowl Sunday because we went to Slip Stitch Avenue and they have a 30% off sale on me. 30% yeah. people. Yeah. Uh, I'm only human. Then last weekend, I went out to Ocean Grove and I actually just stayed there for a couple of days. It was wonderful. It was peaceful. I loved it. But I caught the last day because... Um, Balzac and Company did a week-long sale. They didn't just do Super Bowl Sunday. So their sale started Super Bowl Sunday, and it went the whole week till the next Sunday. Um, they did 20% off. So I went there and got a little yarn, just a little bit. So I got, oh, it's coming untwisted. I got these three beautiful yarns. <laughs> so these are from Amano. It's called Same. And it is a cotton and bamboo. I believe the sport weight. And it feels supremely soft. Yeah. Oh my god, that feels nice. And that it, it will probably I will probably use these three together, but not sure. And then this is unique cotton from Earth Yarns. This is a hand-dyed self-striping cotton. And this is DK weight. And I've used this before. Um there's some of this in my comeback tee, which is my wool walk um, top that I made. And so that's what I got at Balzac and Company. And then I popped over to um, Grace and Pearl, which is like 10 minutes away from Balzac and Company. And I got some Chelsea Locks. And this is two yarns together. So this is um, cobblestone and mohair. And this is just a little nubbly yarn. That is charming. I don't know if you can see any of the little nubbins in it. There you go. And technically, Grace and Pearl wasn't open. <laughs> I didn't realize yeah. ever I made a mistake and I went on Sunday, but the owner was there and she let me in because she saw me outside looking all sad. <laughs> it was very, very nice of her. And so I got some of My mom has been buying this. Like every time we go somewhere that has some, she's been buying it so she can, you know, have enough to make her sweater. You know what? The, the price has put her off. So she doesn't want to buy like multiple at one time. So she's just been buying like one by one every mm -hmm. time she sees it. But it's really nice. And when she bought hers, I wanted some. So <laughs> I finally had some of this. And then we went to... And all of us went to here and shop at Alma Park because we want to take our niece to go see the alpaca. They're so cute. They were out grazing. And we had a really nice day for it. It was sunny mm -hmm. and warmer compared to the rest of the week. And so there I got two yarns. I got this. This is Ilamani Sabri. This is a company that I'm not at all familiar with. I've yeah. only seen it at um, Alma Park. And I actually have one skein of this already, so I just bought. Yeah, it's um cotton and alpaca, oh. cotton and baby alpaca. Feels incredible, and I also got 
Terminus. Now this is the Wool Walk exclusive colorway from last year. And I had wanted some of that. So I'm very happy that I managed to pick some of that up. And then some minis that coordinate with it and kind of like a rainbow pastel thing happening. And this is dyed by Rose at um, Alma Park. So, and the colorway is called, it's something about rain, I think. I forget what it's called. Oh, wildflowers, not rain. <laughs> it's not oh, wildflowers. <laughs> <laughs> well, rain makes wildflowers grow. It sure does. <laughs> I was close. But yeah, so this kind of pastel multi, that is wildflowers. I like that yeah. with those pops of neon color. Yeah. And if you look at the label, she has the little inspo pick. Let me see if I can make that focus. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. The little inspo pick for the colorway. And so that is what I bought in the last week. Mm. But I have kept to my rules. So I feel like that's okay. I think so too. I only got yarn at Alma Park. And I have been thinking about making socks. And I went through the, bo the box with all of my sock yarn for some reason a while ago. And I was like, you know what? You've got a lot of stripy sock yarn in it. I had a, a moment where it's self-striping sock yarns. So I've got a ton of stripy sock yarn. So I decided that I wanted to get some mini skeins to create, you know, heels tough, contrasting heels, cuffs, and toes. Mm -hmm. So while I was at Alma Park, she happily had mini skeins already made up. And unbeknownst to me, every almost every color, I picked four colors of mini skeins, and three out of the four colors were inspired by Game of Thrones. So this is Valerian Steel. This, I think, is the Night's Watch. This is the Red Woman. And it's showing up like deep, yeah. purpley almost, it's but it's really... Overseen. Uh, it's really a, a, a rich burgundy color. I don't know why it's coming up purple, but trust yeah, me, it's, <laughs> it's burgundy. It's looking real purple and green. And this is not a Game of Thrones color, but I've decided to call it the Sea Snake. Now, were these actually the color names, or you just projected that onto your yarn? No, that's what she told me when I was oh, when I was bringing them up, and okay. I was like, oh my god, without even realizing, it, I chose almost all okay. Game of Thrones colorways. So I'm going to be combining these with my self-striping sock yarns just to give my socks a little bit of interest and Ooh. fun to them. The only thing I do want to get is like maybe a cream because I have some that mm -hmm. are on a white background that would look great with cream uh, heels, cuffs, and toes. Cool. I have just realized mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of yarn. Oh, okay. She has a ton of yarn. Okay. <laughs> no, she has a lot of yarn. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Okay. So I wanted to store my yarn in a way that I could see it because I had it like in bins and stuff. And it was just like so hard to find things when I wanted to like start my next project. Mm -hmm. And I was looking online for like a storage solution that would fit in my room. And what I found would cost like way too much money. I was like, man, I wish I had something to, that was just already here that I could use. And it turns out I did. I had a bookcase in my garage. So I dragged it up the stairs in the middle of the night. Because <laughs> I'd asked, I was like, oh, tomorrow, can you help me move the bookcase? But I didn't want to wait till tomorrow. She was going to sleep. And I was still awake and I was like, well, I could like be getting some stuff done. So I dragged the bookcase up the stairs mm. quite successfully, no injuries and started putting my yarn on it. So now all of what I'm calling my active yarn, which is the yarn that I actually go to when I want to make something is on that shelf and it's laid out and I can see it. And I'm going to get some, there's some clear bins at um, five below. And so my donuts are going to go there because donuts don't do well on shelves. No. So I'm going to get some bins for my donuts and those will be go going on the top of the bookcase. And so now really what's on that bookcase and I have a few hooks hanging over the bookcase has that have some um, hanks on them. That's pretty much all the yarn that I'm working with for the most part. I'm sorry, my nose is itching. You know, we have all this yarn in front of us and I think it's like <laughs> letting off fibers because mine is too. 
But um, and that's really most of my yarn. So most of my yarn fits like on this one shelf. And I'm just like, that's not a lot. Now she then referenced some yarn that I have. Like we we have a little closet where we keep some yarn. However, almost all of that is acrylic that I bought like years and years and years ago. And the fact is I'm just not using it. And I hung on to it. I got rid of a lot of it, but I hung on to some of it because I was just like, you know, it's not like I'm mad at acrylic and I can still use this. And, you know, maybe if I use it judiciously, I can make some things that'll still be kind of comfortable to wear. But the fact is I just couldn't motivate myself to use the acrylic. And once I put the shelf in my room and put all of my yarn on it, I just realized this is the yarn I want to be using. So I'm finally getting rid of the overwhelming majority of that acrylic. I've got some garbage bags over here that are that I'm kind of just emptying out that closet and getting rid of a lot of that yarn. And now, like the as far as yarn that I'm actually using, it's just not that much. So I feel like my stash is an entire bookshelf. Reasonable amount of yarn. It's not a big bookshelf. <laughs> Not a big bookshelf, that's all. I mean, we're not talking like Library of Congress here. It's just like a little thing from Ikea. <sighs> so I'm actually feeling very good about my stash. I feel like it's a perfectly reasonable size. And the shelf is not like packed full, full, full. So there's still a little room to grow. So, yeah, we're about to unleash the beast. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh no. We should never talk in terms of unleashing the beast. Now nah, I don't I don't feel like I have too much yarn, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy some yarn. Mm. Love that. Oh, I didn't But it was just funny how seeing that bookcase really unlocked for me this this willingness to finally let go of the acrylic. And I'm gonna, you know, try to find some place to donate it. I will be very happy to know that it's going to people who are happy to use this yarn and it'll be blankets and baby things. And I, you know, and my mom's going to take some of it. She's doing um, hats for donation. So hopefully it will, you know, be put to good use. And I'm just, I'm just ready to let it go. You know, there, that is a nice feeling when you know that I'm done with this. Yeah. yeah I'm done with this. You know, that that's what I've been up to. I've been visiting yarn stores and I have been clearing out and I have been organizing my yarn. So as you see, I've been doing all the things with yarn this week except crochet. Yeah. <laughs> I know I'm I'm doing a bit of an organization project myself. Like I said, I have a lot of self stocking sock yarn and I've been wanting to work on socks. So what I'm doing now is I'm pairing up my sock yarns, I stripe these with my solids that I have so that I can mix them up as, as I as I would like. And I'm bagging them up together. So whenever I have the, the urge strikes me to do a sock, I can just go like this and pick it up and go. Oh, you should put them like each one in like a little bundle that you can't see what's in it. And then you just pick at random. Well, and that's why I'm going to leave them in the box and I will just pick out and at random. Socks. That'd mm -hmm. be fun. Oh, you do like Advent socks or something. What's an Advent sock? You know, one for like each day or something. <laughs> <laughs> Did I shock you? <laughs> no, I'm inhaling yarn fire. <clears throat> I know, right? Occupational hazard. Yeah. But right. um, yeah, I'm thinking maybe I'll get out a pair of socks a month. Okay, we'll see. Because you're gonna start socks while you already have two. No, projects. no, no. I'm okay. only gonna have two projects going at once. That's it. <laughs> okay. I've decided I, I don't like working just one on one thing because I would have felt like, oh no, I got no knitting done at all. You know, while Rachel was here. But because I had something that didn't take any brain power, I could just like, oh, round and round. Okay, great. And socks are mostly like that. Mm -hmm. It's just round and round and round again. So I will only have two projects going at, at a time okay. for the most part. Because you're thinking in the soccer direction. And I'm just like. <laughs> okay. If I strung three pairs of socks <laughs> on one needle, would that count as one project? Because I'm it working them at the same socks. time. Why would you do three socks? Because my longest needle will probably hold three socks. That would be insane. 
Why? Because two of them would be a pair, and then the third one would just be. Well, if it makes you feel better, I can just cast on one of three different socks, and just do foot number one of three socks, and then foot number one, number two. Don't do that. <laughs> just, just thinking about it, I'm making her glitch. <laughs> chaos, like, oh my god! <laughs> I'm making her glitch. I just saw you like, oh, oh no! Like what? <laughs> three? Like what? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You can't even think those No, thoughts. no. <laughs> you went to the forbidden realm, honey. No. Mm -mm. Anyway, so that's what's been going on. And I have pictures. Oh, that's right. Of my, um, of my shrug. I got a selfie stick, y'all. And let me tell you, I used to think selfie sticks were like the stupidest thing on the face of the planet. Okay. And I just got one at five below. I just went like a real cheap one. Because I tried my hand at vlogging. It's a mess. And holding the camera up like this <laughs> while you're talking <laughs> just doesn't work for me. So Lisa was like, you need a selfie stick. So I was like, okay, let me try this out. So I took a picture today with my selfie stick. And you know what? It's not bad. She needs a selfie stick. <laughs> I love that you can just press the button on the handle. On the stick, yes. I, it was always so awkward to try to hold the, yeah. Anyway, and then That's how you get pictures looking up your nose. We're getting bigger and bigger, and they were hurting my hand anyway. So, anyway. So, let us show you my finished truck. Okay. Do you want to just show the finished product? Do you want to show the side-by-side -side first? No, the side-by-side. -side. Okay. So, that's the front. Yeah, hey, that that is like really similar. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then that's it. The, look at that. Hello. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't do those big loopy sleeves like on the yeah. yeah, I think your sleeves are better. But yeah, my haircut looks good. <laughs> I just shaved back there because it was a mess. Um, but yeah, so that's my shrug mm -hmm. all finished up. Except for ends. I have loose ends. People. Yeah. A couple of <laughs> but here it is. So you can see it nice and big. You can you see my hand? That's a selfie stick. Oh, oh yeah, that is a selfie stick. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. it. It's so convenient. And then Lisa took the picture back because I can't do that with a selfie stick. Yeah. That, that would be impressive. <laughs> that would be. That'd be one heck of a selfie stick. But, but yeah, yeah. And I like that you made the sleeves narrow. I think that looks better. But I just like saw a picture of something and it was just like, oh, I want to make that. And then I just made it. I was just like, wait, what? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I I'm very so. excited about it. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> it's the little things. So, yeah, so that's really all that's been going on with us. We've, we've been. Keeping her niece busy for the week. She got into watching The Last of Us. Yeah. And I don't know, I'm actually not crazy about that show. I, I like it. Like her. I like it. But it's a little sad, but I like it. And we've, I've just been trying to like get myself sorted <laughs> as far as like my yarn life. And so now, you know, my yarn just feels more organized. Like I just, when I wanted to, show my haul i just plucked everything off my shelf and it was mm -hmm. right there and i could find it and do you have it arranged by weight by color no right now it's all just on the shelf oh okay although 95 percent of my yarn is <laughs> <laughs> so i didn't really need to you didn't have to worry about it yeah okay and i still have the yarn that I made the linus jacket out of the DK weight chain it. Mm -hmm. And what I have left of that is all like on one shelf by itself because I still have quite a bit of it. That's okay, because I just figured out another thing that I'm gonna do with some of it. Don't ask me when I'm going to get to that, but but yeah. Oh, and we are going to be in the the spring, spring yarn YouTube hop. You, yeah, the you spring said. yarn YouTube hop. So <laughs> I almost had it for that. <laughs> Oh, and you know what? I forgot to tell you because it was a busy weekend, but I did a poll in our community tab mm. this weekend. 
just asking people what kind of content they'd like to see for us mm -hmm. from us. So if the poll is still up, if you have not uh, filled it, you know, given us an answer, let us know what kind of content would you guys like to see for us? There's a few choices. I don't remember them all right now, so don't quote me on this. But um, I asked if you'd like to see chats with other Yarny creators, uh, inspiration, how to's and something else i forget I think there were four choices so let us know <laughs> what job. you guys would be interested in seeing okay just click the poll in the community tab and ooh, we hit 500 subscribers that's right i forgot oh, oh my god. god which is wild i'm just like i hate thinking about like 500 people staring at me like ah <laughs> but <laughs> yeah we hit 500 that's like a milestone right? it is a milestone Oh, and you know what? We should do a giveaway. Oh, okay. You know what? Put a comment of some kind down at the bottom of this video, and we'll pick from whoever comments. It'll be a subscriber. Yeah, be one of the people who's like following the channel. Okay, if you're not, subscribe, okay? <laughs> yes. Then you qualify. Be subscribers to enter. Um, also, I am trying out an online creative conference. There's a a sewing conference coming up. It is free to sign up and all of the classes are free on the for 24 hours after the class opens. So even if you want to catch the replay, you can, but only for the first 24 hours after the class opens. So I'm going to try it out. So because I'm curious about how online conferences work and because I've only done, I think, um as a you know as a participant stitches at home and i enjoyed it but the classes were a little long so i'm going to try out the sewing one and see how it is i don't remember what it's called right now i'll put it in the description bar below i think this might be so creative lounge but i may be lying right now okay all right so good we'll job see. <laughs> it will be in the description bar though <laughs> But yeah, that, that's all that's been going on with us. Do you have anything else you wanted to share? No, no, but do like and subscribe. We're trying to get to a thousand and we're like halfway there now. Yay. I'm sorry, I'm excited. You had too much caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, um, Lisa's going to the bug down the stairs now. So we're going to go. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. And as always, stay stitching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.